How you doing? NFL season's back, huh? Do you know they used to serve beer in bottles at games? Did you also know that they do not serve bottles at games because of the beautiful, wonderful city of Cleveland? You're f***ing welcome, everybody. That's right. The second major sports riot in Cleveland history happened back in 2001 when playing the Jacksonville Jaguars. It's been dubbed Bottlegate by lazy journalists who think they could just add gate to the end of a word to signify there was some sort of scandal. They went with Bottlegate because Cleveland fans hurled bottles at opposing players and referees after they royally f***ed us. To set the stage, Cleveland had already been royally f***ed in the most brutal of ways when they took the Browns from Cleveland and put them in Baltimore in 1995. It was the loyal Browns fans, the people of Cleveland, that fought to keep the name, colors, and history in the city of Cleveland and attach it to an expansion team that would start in 1999. The city of Cleveland did that. The people of Cleveland did that. It was beautiful. The growing pains were hard to watch in the first two years under Chris Palmer. But in 2001, we hired Butch Davis from the U. We were 6-7, and seven, near 500, in the playoff hunt and facing the Jacksonville Jaguars at home. The city was starving for a winner. 7-7 seven and seven would have been huge, and people were excited, and people were celebrating extra hard in the Muni lot before that game. Now, it all came down to the final drive. It was 15-10 to 10 Jaguars, 4th and 2 on the Jaguars' 12-yard line. Tim Couch threw a pass to Quincy Morgan, he bobbled it, but it was called the completion and a first down. Tim Couch hurried up to the line. He knew it was questionable. He got up there, snapped the ball, spiked it. 48 seconds left, second and goal. Now, NFL replay rules state that you can only review the last play run. So the only play that could have been reviewed was the spike of the football. But these slap <laughs> referees decided it would be a good idea in Cleveland in a playoff hunt to go back against the rules and review the play beforehand to see if it was actually a catch. Now, as an NFL referee, you need to know your crowd. You need to know that you are in Cleveland in the middle of a playoff run at the very end of the game. At 3.30 in the afternoon, blue collar people have been drinking for about eight and a half hours now. And what did these do? They overturned the call. Somebody in any capacity had to have known that what they were doing was wrong but they stuck to their guns instead and they went against the rules and they gave the Jacksonville Jaguars the ball with 48 seconds left to run out the clock and destroy the Browns playoff chances in Cleveland naturally Cleveland fans did not take these clowns ruining their season well naturally they became very very angry and it started with booze and then the reality and the weight of what had just happened set in and the booze intensified. And then that continued and those booze turned into bottles raining down on the field. The bottles blotted out the sun like Persian arrows. They rained down like fire and brimstone on the field, on the referees, on the Jaguars players. Honestly, no, I really don't feel that bad for the, <laughs> the players or the referees. Nobody got seriously hurt in the entire thing. As an NFL referee, you're making six figures. That's pharmacist money. Those people go to school for years and years and pay a lot of money. And you're making that much to work once a week for like four months a year? can deal with it. So what did the referees do? They called the game. They called the game with 48 seconds left. They ran off the field and that's when the bottles really started to fly. The best part is that the commission of the NFL, Paul Tagliabue, called them and said, you're not allowed to do that. You don't have the power to end games early. Go back out there and finish the game. So the referees and the players had to run back onto the field as the Browns fans thought that maybe they were going to overturn the unjust call of the referees, only to realize that the Jaguars had to go out there and take knees. Who got mad? People got real mad, and the bottles continued to fly. Do I feel bad? Not really. F those guys. They should have made the right call. I love my Browns. I'll always side with the city of Cleveland. Always. Go Browns.